Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp and Chime for sponsoring today's episode. Welcome to the tripod. We're on our way to Eugene's house. That's right. Huge morning, honestly. Big yeah. morning. Uh, okay. Miles and I were in a video together. We took a dance class. We're sweaty little demons. I am stinky. Uh, Rainy, do you think that we're stinky? I just took a big whiff. And what I will say is that since I got COVID, I like can't smell. And this was like two years ago. Oh, I, yeah, like, you told me this and it deeply saddened me. I, I know it is really sad because I used to be like a sommelier version of yeah. smell. You used to be known for your smelling. Yeah, I did, honestly. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I really did. And what then, do people say about your smelling? I could just smell anything from a mile away. And like I could like literally always, I was always anxious about how anything was going to smell. That's really interesting. Because mm. all the different notes. I don't feel confident in my smelling. No, I don't either anymore. But yeah. I used to. I mean, I, I mean, used that's to tragic like, for you. As you know. someone who has not had their smell damaged by COVID, I'm a, I'm aware of you. You think I stink? No, I'm just aware. Sorry, of... we're rolling up to Eugene's house. Someone who <laughs> owns the company that I work at. Yeah. <laughs> Debatably, the the real boss. Co-owns. I mean, I. Debatably, I also... like the real like. Uh -oh. If I'm thinking of if there's one real boss, mm. it's him. You know, faceless, <laughs> sort of, because he's not at the office as much as he us. He actually is watching at all times from a monitor, stroking his dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I could uh, see that in for In a him. dark room. No, this is very exciting. Eugene Liang, star of the new Netflix film, Nimona, is going to be here <laughs> on the pod. You may know him from such previous work as yeah. The Try Guys. Yeah, work at this podcast. Formerly The Tripod. Oh. Uh, and also... Uh, my friend. No, we're super stoked. Eugene is in a movie. It's yeah. uh, Nimona, if you're listening to this, it's out tomorrow. Debatably, he's just doing press, and we're the press. We're part of the <laughs> press cycle. Yeah. yeah this is a huge scoop for us. This is a scoop to believe in. This is a scoop to remember. Now, um, yeah, yeah. I want it to go well there, and it's sort of been like, so again, we woke up very early. Mm -hmm. That's why we stink. Right. And then you have something to do afterwards. It's sort of a busy day over here. Busy day, and I'm going to be a stinky little bee. Typically, Rainy and I will say, mmm, that's a coffee for us when we record the podcast. I'd that's really a meal. I really like a coffee. That's we, sort of, we and didn't we didn't even have time to We that. didn't have time to get a coffee, which is honestly go, like, go, go. that's sort of harshing my vibe. And you said uh, that Eugene might have a coffee for me. I think he has like a little fancy espresso maker. You think he's going to make me an espresso? I didn't say that. We've got to get Eugene on the on the ones and twos of the coffee maker. I'm thinking. I think that's great content. Honestly, I think that's good content. Yeah, well, if you yeah. tell him that it's content, he'll do it. He loves content, <laughs> tell notoriously. Him his, tell him his PR team. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes your PR, it. your agent. <laughs> we, we, again, yeah, we booked this through Eugene's agent, through his team, as it were. Um, should we but, prep press questions? Oh my God, by the way, we probably should. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah. And I'm wondering if you, like, this is a huge moment for us. I know that he's Eugene. But he's also movie star Eugene Liang. And if this goes well, we could be rubbing elbows with Chloe Harrison Grace Moretz. Ford. Chloe and Grace Moretz. <laughs> yeah. He starred in The Thing with, with Chloe, Chloe Grace, Grace Moretz. We could be with the top of the top of Hollywood. To be on Chloe Grace Moretz's contacts. Oh, I never thought I would get that far in life. <laughs> and by the and way, we're not that far yet. <laughs> he, he probably but it's, calls it's her, in sight. He probably calls her Chloe. He calls her, you think? Think or about Grace. this. Let's okay. Focus in. Stop thinking about Chloe Grace. Morales. My name is Chloe Grace. If if this episode <laughs> goes well, if yeah. you guys really, you know, strut your stuff as, as as you know, uh, uh, interviewers worth your weight in salt, wow. then we could be rubbing elbows with the biggest of the big in Hollywood. Think about all the big movies coming out this year. Okay. We've got we've got a new Hunger Games, Barbie, new, new Indiana Jones, Barbie. We could go to the Malibu Dream House with with Margot Robbie. That oh, yeah. would be if this goes well. That would be huge for us, I think, to have. And obviously, you know that you love movies because of your other podcast, huh? <laughs> obviously, you love movies because your other podcast. Guilty pleasure. Subscribe. Yeah. Natty plug. Natty plug. Well, so before we get to Eugene's house, let's do a vibe check in. How's vibe. everyone's vibe today, Zach? I tired. Uh, uh, you rainy? I'm incredibly anxious about the sound. <laughs> so w maybe we should dive in. <laughs> maybe we should dive into the sound, Rainy. So, and I want you to feel seen, first of all. Yeah. I have been guilty when I used to work on set 
constantly forgetting things, constantly driving back to the office. Thank you for saying that. making sure that. that you, I yeah. want to make sure you feel seen yeah. because Rainy this morning forgot the headphones. And yeah. honestly, not a big deal. We bought some at a gas station. <laughs> bought some at a gas station. At the local Exxon Mobil. Uh-huh. Um, I, fr- I remember bringing everything except for the camera batteries to set one time. <gasps> <laughs> what happened? What did you do? Did you, you just I drove back. half an hour... Like, and we start, we only ended up starting like a little bit late because I think I got there early or something. Oh, that's why you have to get places early, really. And that's why yeah. my, I'm sort of baking into my lifestyle. Yeah. The fuck the, ups. The fuck ups are. You're, of, you're assuming yeah. ahead of time that you've already gotten something wrong. A hundred percent. So that's why I tried to arrive early yeah. to an event. So anyway, Rainy sort of, um, and actually I think forgotten's too harsh of a word. <laughs> Real quick, we're driving by BuzzFeed. Hold your breath. <gasps> I'm dying. <laughs> All right, cool. Please continue. Um, so, uh, Rainy, I want to say, what, what's a uh, misvibed? I definitely misvibed. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Rainy I mean, misvibed the yeah. headphones, and so we had to purchase some from a gas station, and they sound a little bit like we're underwater, under the sea style. Uh-oh, yeah. Oh, gonorrhea yeah. alert. Oh yeah, Drug I know. Resistance. There's so many <laughs> um, no STD testing in ho- in Hollywood. Yeah, that no, and the gonorrhea alert um, billboards are sort of uh, intense. They're, I mean, it's it's sort of an ice. It is, by the way, a, 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 oh. the Titanic hitting an iceberg, which seems, I would say, in poor taste. And now it seems in poor taste. Now <laughs> we even really. I, I don't know if we should even talk about what this. What do you mean? It's, 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 everyone's talking about it. Let's see yeah, the submarine. Is. I mean, and it point, is topical. It, it is, is it topical. Is it to, I guess what it is topical. Of course it's topical. Rich people went underwater and they made an oopsie and now they're gone. Oh, but when I do scuba and I'm poor, <laughs> what? That's not news? I, well, if you di- if you went missing, it would be. <laughs> if you died. If I die, I guess that's a good point. Imploded. I think if hubris, I, am- I, I didn't really follow <laughs> the news cycle until it was over, but it, it yeah. seemed like hubris was a big part of the story oh, for yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. It, really, was like it a- literally was that flying too close to the sun. What's the... Hubris. Zach? Greek? <laughs> It, Huber, Greek, well, and um, define like hubris for the audience. Flying too close to the sun. Well, no, wasn't there a name of the yeah, guy? Yeah, it was you're thinking Dimitri of uh, no, no, sun no, no. or something. Uh, little little homie Felix. flew cl- too close to the sun and his wings melted. Yeah. Icarus. 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 There Icarus we go. to be made of wings of wax flying too close to the sun. Look how Miles smart we coming are. from left field knowing his Greek mythology. Thank you. Uh, thank also, you. what an idiot having wax wings. What a dummy. Well, he didn't know he was going to do that. Well, he's stupid. But anyway, vibe checking. I feel sweaty, and I couldn't be more starving. I'm pretty hungry. As I'm well. hoping Eugene makes me a turkey sub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eugene, we're hungry. Make us coffee and a, and a sandwich, please. Well, I just wonder if, like, when we see him, it's going to be sort of a big, like. Well, first of all, does we, he know we're coming? Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's like, <laughs> it's like in the zeitgeist, I'd say. Okay. But I don't know that he's like, like I. Yeah, that's He's interesting. He's like aware. Do you, I, here's things I wonder, because he just got back from New York. He did this big press tour. He's really jet-lagged is all I know. Yeah, and I I want to know, one, is he going to be happy to see us? You know him better than I do. Like, you just you just worked for days and days and days. You fly home. La- he got, flew home last night. Yeah. And now it's like, here's more work. Yeah. I think he's going to be exhausted. Two, is he going to be dressed? He might be not dressed, but I think that he, I mean, he always puts his best foot forward. That's something I know about my guy. Well, he goes, <laughs> he, he goes very extremes, right? He's either going to be wearing the most fabulous, like, mm-hmm. outfit, hair did, makeup did, spiky out. Like, you're like, whoa, where, who even makes this? Or he'll be in a bathrobe. Yeah. Right. I think that, oh, yeah, this is, I think the bathrobe is probably wise. He did text me. We told him we'd be there. I mean, originally we said we'd be there at ten thirty. Wow, which, it's eleven twenty. Yeah, God forbid we're not. Oh. At, we're absolutely not because the, the shoot ran long and just sort of everything kind of went. But um, everything goes askew. Everything and went that's askew. On producing. And that's on. I mean, it's really on that production had us dance this morning. <laughs> yeah, man, it was a rough day. But um, I think it's going to go really well. Uh, we're going to probably cut in a minute or two so we don't reveal the location of Eugene's lair. It's in a Chipotle. It's He does live underneath and above a Chipotle. It sort of <laughs> was planted in betwixt. Um, Next time we see you, uh-huh. it'll be at Eugene's house right after this moment that is going to be a countdown. And we're going to honk and a honk. And there's going to be a sound effect that you can look forward to 
right when you hear the sound, mm -hmm. which is about to happen. Here we go. Get ready for it. In five, four, three, <laughs> two. Remember now, you're gonna hear a sound. You started too high somehow. One, five. and sound. prepare yourself for it. Okay. Uh, we are currently outside Eugene's house. Uh, we're gonna try and not dox him and show off uh, any of the street signs. Yeah. Um, here we go. But just for the edit, and definitely don't leave this in, it's at 111 Hollywood Sign Road. <laughs> he lives on the Hollywood Sign. Okay, we're kind of stepping over his okay. plants. Stepping over his plants here. Uh, he just, he, Matt did a great job of repaving the, the this. There's a tile. Yeah, it's a tile. But I guess, is that too much? Okay, the dogs too are going to bark for sure. Yeah, but that's going to be sort of part of it. Hang on one sec, one sec, before we... I hope these headphones, they fell out. Rainy's, <laughs> sorry, Rainy's gas station headphones fell out. So we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to take a quick time out. Hang on, Zach, don't touch it. Zach's finger, Zach's finger. Shot, you ready? Zach's finger. Is I'm going to ring the doorbell. Three, right. okay. two. Okay. Gorgeous sound. All right, so let's. Wait, no, do like a fucking like, like Vogue, welcome to my house shot. Yeah, we'll do a Vogue, welcome to my house, but then Rainy, you got to have a microphone ready for him. Okay, give me a microphone. Oh, guys, okay. guys, we're professionals. We're professionals. We're professionals here. <laughs> but we don't want to show anything. We don't want to. Use the knocker? Yeah, use the knocker. Oh, it was so fucking loud. Did we get it on mic? Yeah, we definitely heard. Oh, oh, you think we didn't hear that? <laughs> He's not answering the door. You think he. Okay, but no, we're not selling anything. He said, I don't want to buy Well, we anything. are selling. There are ads on this. There are ads on it, but it's going to be like... We're not selling to you. We're kind of... We're selling you. It'll be like Dippin' Dots or something. Rainy is here. Eugene! Hi, Eugene! Hi, Rainy. Hi, Rainy. Hi Rainy. Eugene. Eugene. Podcast Rainy. darling, Rainy. <laughs> Oh, come in, come in, Rainy. Okay, and, and well, we're, we're gonna come to you. We're kind of our plus ones and twos. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta hold them up. We have a microphone for you to hold. Come on in. Hey, Eugene. Welcome it to smells my humble amazing. Abode. Eugene, how's it going? It's good to see you, man. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember? Why? <laughs> <laughs> um, you've had a baby. Yeah, I had a baby. How's recently. that been going, Miles? The baby's been good. I gotta say, right off the bat, it smells incredible. In yeah. Here. <laughs> what wow. is that smell? I just farted. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I just fought it. Uh, well, welcome. Would you like to take a seat? Yeah. Oh, you know why this smells nice? Is because this is a new couch. Oh, oh, yeah. That's patent leather. Patent. Patent. Leather. Patent leather. That's patent mm. leather. Well, Eugene, yeah, it's patent. really good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Oh. Can Thanks. We just continue to stand in the doorway. No, yeah. no. Would you rather <laughs> sit at a table or I'll at couch? I think we should probably. Here, I was going to set them up like cameras. Okay, great. Well, I'll film you setting it up. Okay, got it. That's perfect, Zach. Yeah. Well, let's let's sort of we can. We're professionals, <laughs> we do like big interviews now. So this is how you do your. Um, we do sort of a roving traveling podcast. Right? Yeah, it's outside of the studio, as it were. It's it's very. <laughs> Invasive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Let's set this up. All right, let's set it up. And y'all around ran around a Chuck E. Cheese like this. Uh -huh. Oh, we certainly. Oh, nice. Okay. How was New York? I haven't talked to you since you got back. Yes, I just got, got back, back last, last night? night. Oh my god, you must be exhausted. I am. Take my shoes off. Are you doing that because I'm Asian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a stereotyping. Moment. It was a it was a stereotyping moment for Zach. Well, I just know I put my shoes up on the couch and I'm like, that's rude. Do all these in between moments make the podcast, or is it usually? Oh yeah. yeah oh, it depends it, it how does. good it is. Okay, how was that for you? It was probably pretty good. Yeah. People seem to just like hanging out. It's sort of a hangout vibe, whereas before we kind of did the uh, did the old. We're sitting in the studio and we're experts. Now we're out on the road and we're sort of having a vibe to it all. What did you call it? You're calling it um, plog. Progs? The plog. Plog. <laughs> mm -hmm. The triplog. Why is it called plog? Because it's, it's a vlog that's a podcast. Yeah. So it's triplogcast. <laughs> oh. We're ploggers. We're yeah. kind of like innovating and trailblazing. I'm sort of surprised that nobody has copied our format yet. But yeah. I, 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 thought, I thought you should have called it trod. Because it's, <laughs> a, tra it's a traveling pod. And to trod is to is to move. I like that. The trod. Welcome yeah. to the trod. <laughs> Today we're trotting to blank. Today we're doing Well, we trod. can trod <laughs> No, no, you already, you, already, you already branded it. It's okay. <laughs> Rainy, I'll start a trod with you. Yeah, okay. Where would you want to go? Okay, I think that we're going to want to go to um, a spa. 
Yeah. Trod spa. Spa I trod. S- spa <laughs> trod. Spa <laughs> trod. And it's spawn con trod spa. I'm liking where this is headed. <laughs> spawn con. Spawn con trod spa. Well, Eugene, it's so good to see you. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, you're a movie star now. No. In the hit film, Namoma. <laughs> that's coming. Out, that's coming out. Really, Friday. Yeah. When does this? When does this? If you're listening out? to this, it is out tonight at midnight. It is out tomorrow. Oh. Uh, Nimona on Netflix is everywhere. Oh, this is coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, you're gonna edit this this fast. I know what you're thinking. Wow. We didn't, yeah, maybe we should have. Maybe we should. <laughs> maybe we should have banked another one. Timely. <laughs> A good credit score is super important, whether you're going to be making a big purchase like buying a house or taking out a loan. It's really important to have a high credit score, and that is why millions of people swear by Chime Secured Credit Builder Visa Credit Card. With the Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card, you got no annual fees, interest, or credit check to apply. You can use it everywhere. Visa credit cards are accepted and build credit using your own money. Plus, with a Chime checking account, you get paid up to two days earlier. With qualifying direct deposit, you can get access to your money sooner and you ditch the fees. There's no monthly minimum balance or overdraft fees and you can access over 60,000 fee-free ATMs nationwide. Your cred's a big deal, so build yours up with Chime. Just open a Chime checking account with a $200 plus qualified direct deposit to get started. Get started at chime.com slash tryguys. That's chime.com slash tryguys. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank NA, member FDIC, Chime checking account, and $200 dollar qualifying direct deposit required to apply out of network atm withdrawal fees may apply on time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score late payment may negatively impact your credit score results may vary this episode is brought to you by better help in a given week i am doing so much for the people in my life i'm a uh, doing favors for friends, running errands for my family, not to mention all the stuff at work. And it's really easy to maybe forget to spend time on yourself. What, you get an hour here or there? Which is why it is so essential that I have therapy once a week to look forward to that time where I can check in with my BetterHelp therapist to check in with myself, see what's on my mind. And what's best of all is using BetterHelp, it is easy, flexible, and convenient. I can schedule it anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of my home, going for a nice walk, all of this to give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. Okay, great. Well, this is fresh. That means everyone is actually listening to this. Yeah. Trod. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, plog. Yeah. Plog. Get it right, please. Thank plog. <laughs> <laughs> the day after you're filming it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Timely. That yeah. never happens anymore. It doesn't and it, for good reason it's a it's it's a It's a technical nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> stressful. But no, I mean I I think that you know everyone over at the company and and Miles and Rainey as well like we're stoked like this is huge. Yeah. You're you're in a movie and so anything we can do to to tell all of the little second second try homies all of our triceratops to to go watch and support. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's this now. Netflix is all, I mean, we know how that those data companies work. They want that first day data. Yeah, yeah. So oh, Nimona, right. it releases June 30th tomorrow, mm-hmm. Friday. So definitely watch. Uh, I think you'll all love it. It's a um, very serendipitous, rare opportunity to be able to be part of something that's so close to both my identity and my own passions. Oh, he's so I'm a huge impress. animation nerd. I have been impressed for the past week. <laughs> yeah. Which you maybe is why I'm speaking ready. so Yeah, by the way. So well. Okay, let me let me dumb it down for second for me try. Personally. Yeah, so <laughs> animation fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, miles so- it up. Voice acting? So cool. It actually is cool. And friends? Cast? Uh, 
Oh, super you like duper. The cast? By the way, yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, what's what's My that? I love Chloe Grace. I guess yeah. now you know if we are speaking. What, what is the um, trod exclusive? I can't think of what you actually call it now. <laughs> plog. Plog. What is I, the if plog? There's a fucking uprising. Okay. I will be furious. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> no, no press release, Eugene. I did. A, you'll they'll see a lot of those videos online. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna give y'all the prod. Prog, so prog, and it's so prog. Close. You're so close, and it's just like we keep <laughs> saying. Isn't prog, it. isn't prog like a form? Prog is isn't a, it a genre of music? Prog is a city. It's isn't a city prog rock? A we music? gotta go to prog. By the oh, way, that's prog what rock. Yeah, progressive rock. Yeah. Pro, oh, okay. By the um, way, podcast in prog. Prog. <laughs> ah, prog. So prog is funny. a beautiful city. It yeah, is. I've heard amazing yeah. things. Re fan. Really good. Gay I went scene. to a blindness museum there. Where, I went to the gay part. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I went to the gay part. Yeah. But it was essentially like a pitch black simulation art experiment thing where... That also was part of the gay part. <laughs> 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 it was pitch black and people just, yeah. yeah. Have you heard about dark rooms? <laughs> I have. I have heard about a dark yeah, room. Well, Wait, I when mean, I haven't? Oh, rainy. Oh, rainy. <laughs> um, Sometimes gay establishments <laughs> yeah. uh, cater to those who like to have mysterious uh, run-ins sure. that wow. are purposeful in the dark. Mm. So you don't know who, who you're <laughs> so you shaking don't hands know. with. You know, um, not my scene. Yeah, okay. I'm very, and I have always been very much about faces. Oh, that's why I never would have done well on Grinder. Like oh. I need face right. yeah. because Grindr, it'll be a sort of a close-up peepee. -pee. Yeah, I don't care for the close-up. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Miles? Miles, what's wrong with you? There's something broken inside of you. <laughs> Close up, baby. Actually, there's a lot of that, but you know, usually it's the hole that people request. You think that? Yeah. Oh, the, hole. the phrase show hole. Now tell me, is huh. the hole uh, re via request only, or is it no, on people from sometimes the beginning? just fling at you without your consent or your, your, the request for it. A it's hole kind will of be a, flung, sort of. They, they'll throw the hole right at you. Interesting. Mm. But um, oh. some people do ask, like, show hole. Um, which I think is now part of your lexicon, Miles. I hope you bring it up in future progs. I'm going to bring up show hole <laughs> a lot, actually, now. Yes, Miles. Okay. <laughs> I think I went off the rails, but I, I, I basically I wanted to say I want to give you all the answers to yeah. questions that yeah. I probably didn't answer in the last week yeah. I was in New York promoting Nimona. Do you call Chloe Grace Moretz Clo? Absolutely <laughs> Or not. CG Mo. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, CG Mo is. It, so it seems cool, like though. with three she names, there's a, yeah, there's you a call lot. Her Chloe Grace. No, Chloe. It's just Chloe. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> did you try Chloe? I did not. No. Mm. Do you have her number and can we <gasps> text her? We hey, Chloe? maybe we could play words with friends. I, I do have her number. <gasps> yeah, and we texted a lot while we were there. That's fun. She is, without a doubt, one of the coolest, chillest, mega famous people I'd ever met. I bet. That's awesome. That, she's been acting tracks. since she was yeah. she seems like so five cool. or six. Yeah. yeah. And um, I've met my fair share of um, actors who started as children. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it can really go. One of two ways. One of two ways. Oh, sure. Yeah. And most of the time it's not their fault. Yeah. Because, you know, to think of the types of parents you might have who would be willing. Are they even mentally prepared for how Hollywood works? Sure. Um, but she seems to have gotten like the best of all worlds because she is just a very cool, very relaxed. Like she just strikes me as someone that if you met her in a so random situation, so you would want to be friends with her. Yeah. She was, she was really, really incredible. That's really good to see. Yeah. I like her a lot. That tracks because I think to have that success at that age, young yeah. of an age and then continue to be working uh, and and reaching new heights, you have to have a certain level headedness where you're one not succumbing to the noise, you're not succumbing to the partying, and you're not succumbing to uh, uh, the arrogance. Right? You need people to want to keep working with you. Yeah, and she she was just I don't know. We we actually had met only for the first time during my New York trip. That's why, because that's how animation works, right? You're, yeah, right. and there are other um, animation um, projects where performers will work in the same booth or mm -hmm. the same studio with uh -huh. each other but since our casting had happened back in 2020 oh. it was during the pandemic yeah so we weren't even in the same studio with our directors everything i recorded was over oh, wow. zoom um oh my god yeah so it was only so until stressful. it was only until namona got re-picked up and revived yeah. by netflix and annapurna that i actually got to even meet the directors in person but we had done many sessions basically as if you were zooming a work call 
Oh, wow. So when you hear the performances in the film, what's kind of incredible is that there is a, a pretty uh, amazing amount of chemistry between um, Riz Ahmed and Chloe Grace Moretz as you know, the two of the main characters and then myself and Riz who are boyfriends. Uh, <laughs> boyfriends. The, the directors, Nick and Troy did uh, just a awesome job drawing those performances out of us because it's hard to be intimate mm -hmm. if you think about it without performing towards that person. Mm -hmm. But um, that's all the animation directors do is really just try to create an environment where you believe that you're speaking to the other character in a fantasy world. And that's really awesome. I right. love that. I love that process. That's so cool. I, I guess I have a technical question. When you're recording, do they send you a microphone and like things like that, like special equipment for you to yeah. record from here? You're not then, recording at your home. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Just I know, over a Zoom call just because they're elsewhere. I believe Chloe and Riz had to do a couple sessions like in a closet in their houses, like sure. very lo-fi. But um, once I was cast, I was able to at least go. It was Got a it. time in the uh, in the pandemic where I could go to the... Uh, the the nice. professional recording studio okay, cool. with the COVID protocol in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, no, it was it was surreal just because I I knew with my knowledge of animation history how the recording process goes, but it just felt like really heightened because of COVID. Like you felt even more isolated because typically you could just hang with the producers and directors right in the next room. Mm -hmm. Um. But I guess that's one thing that really trained us during the pandemic was how to feel completely alone. <laughs> did you, well, how did it feel <laughs> so to see your equipped. character animated for the first time? Cause like, obviously oh, yeah. you're, you probably did the video way before the animation. And is he sort complete. of looks like yeah. him too. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, um, this is a really incredible story. And I had seen a mock-up of the character when they first sent me the auditions. Yeah. And um, anyone who's familiar with Andy Stevenson's uh, incredible work. So Andy is the, artist and writer and creator of Nimona, which is the graphic novel. Mm -hmm. And his work had originally been, this was actually his um, senior thesis that then got turned into a web comic that then got turned into a graphic novel. Yeah, And so the history there is a very long tumultuous one. Anyone can Google it. it it's a really wonderful, like rebellious fighter of a film project. So many film projects in Hollywood never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. A lot of them get canceled at some point. This was one that just was done in a way that was very public. And so a lot of people were upset about it being fans of Endy's work. Um, but then it was picked up again by Annapurna and Netflix. Uh, but Endy's vision of, and don't giggle, boys. My character's name is Sir Ambrosius Goldenloin. Love oh, that. Hell yeah. yeah, my boy got that hammer. He yeah. got that loin. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, the pun I think is very much intended. Um, Andy had originally- I would never giggle yeah. over <laughs> something never as beautiful as your golden, golden loins. Golden loin, yeah. Uh, Andy had envisioned the character as to, to be this uh, very long-haired, blonde, uh, head knight of the realm, mm. uh, hyper-competitive, very gallant, very heroic, kind of in an almost like parody level mm -hmm. way, where it's but very much in the in a, in a comedic lens. But like when a the, Fabio on crack, kind of, yeah. I would say more like um, <laughs> like a Fabio <laughs> on nice. crack. Actually, <laughs> I don't know if that's well, he's just like a very pretty boy who just sort of runs around and feels like he's doing his job. Yeah, to, like Fabio. Like yeah. a crack. Fabio on crack. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll go Fabio on crack. Yeah. But then the filmmakers decided to, um, they made a lot of adjustments for the feature, mm -hmm. uh, but the biggest character change in terms of design was Ambrosius. So they decided to make him of East Asian descent. Hmm. And when they changed his character design, a lot of me feels like quite a bit of it was first, I, I think animating long hair is very difficult mm -hmm. oh. and it takes a lot of time and to make hair look that, gorgeous and realistic. Yeah. I mean, that was like most of the budget that went into something like Brave. Right. Um, so, I mean, the thing that, you know, so he got the chop. Mm. I do personally wish he had super long flowing hair because <laughs> I'm never against, you know, a Pocahontas moment, but I understand the vision and the technical reasons. Yeah. Um, Wait, but I've never thought of like the cost prohibitive uh, effort that goes into, into hair. hair. That's yeah. so, animated hair is, it's like water. It's one of those things that it's just so hard to get right. Hair and like fabrics too, I know are difficult. Uh -huh. It's just wow, things that's that flow with movement. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think uh, they, when that happened, when they made that creative choice, um, Aiden, who was is the production designer on Nimona, he was also part of the character design process. And as they were sort of envisioning what he looked like, he brought me up. 
So he brought me up and said, oh, oh. if we're speaking about like queer Asian American mm. men. With hair. With hair. <laughs> we're still with great hair. Um, and I met him at, the, at in New York and it was fantastic being able to talk to him and to thank him profusely because he yeah. basically was the one to throw my name in the ring. And he said. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, he said. Um, I, I've been watching him. I love his coming out video. He's kind of, um, you know, very representative of this space. And he also behaves the way that we envision uh. Ambrosius behave. There are like, there's a short list of who you would call like gay Asian American men who perform yeah. in entertainment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this guy's very much like um, he's can be believable as this like strapping young knight and who's a hero, but he's also soft and funny mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. time. Cause all he wants to do is get back with his man. Um, and Aiden thought I had the right, I guess, vibe and look. So they started modeling the character after <gasps> my, when you see his oh, hair, you'll see that's it. so cool. So very much the hair. This shit never happens, by the way. That's no, it is so very rare. cool, man. Yeah. And wild because, you know, it's just little old me. And then as they started to develop, and also a lot of the animation team were also, they, they were aware of who I was. Mm -hmm. And so as it started going along, the producers and directors just kind of went, well, I think he's just our top choice. We should just Whoa. reach out to him and see if he's interested. So they modeled the character after you. Yeah, and so it's. It I was know all this, and I'm still like very oh strange. God. Yeah, it's just so. Uh, that's very surreal. Like yeah, that doesn't sure. happen. And so when they uh, reached out to me, n not knowing, because when I went to the first audition over Zoom, mm -hmm. um, and this was way back in early 2020, I uh, nerded out because. Uh, they didn't know that I'm such a huge animation stan. Yeah. Like I know everything about animation mm -hmm. history. And I was already doing voiceover auditions um, because I personally prefer the medium just because I think I'm too recognizable visually and I just get very self-conscious about making people believe me in a role. I mean, Zach, you can probably mm -hmm. relate like, oh, it's mm -hmm. like Zach from blank. Sure. So I think this idea of being able to disappear into characters yeah. allows me more freedom to be myself in a weird way. Yeah, for sure. Anyway. They, um, we, we go into the audition and it was a, a couple different reads we had to do over, you know, several hours. And, uh, I apparently nailed it in the first one, which is great. So they oh. didn't go out to anyone else, which was awesome. That's, oh, that also that never happens. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. And I would say also with Chloe and Riz, they were also their top choices, their first picks. Oh my gosh. So they landed all their first picks for the lead, it's which the doesn't A -team. always happen. The A team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A team. You're which kind is... of like the, uh, the plug of the movie world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're sort of the movie plug. The version. plug has everybody, all of our first choices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like true. I, yeah, when, I'm like when the, we don't. I'm the rainy toll. <gasps> wow. <laughs> the movie world. Wow. I'm the clogramé. Clogramé rats. Clogramé. And so when you were talking about it, the story is. Um, <laughs> She's it, gonna love your the way you butcher her name. <laughs> I love Clogramé. I got. Rats. I like loved doing that, and then I really just bailed halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Miles is every time Chloe Grace Moretz comes up, you're like, <gasps> I'm a big fan. I think Chloe Grace Moretz is very cool. Yeah. I mean, she's just dope. Yeah. Like so yeah. dope. And I also to play her character so young and kick ass to have even the, yeah, totally the wherewithal to portray that. Yeah. Oh, good. Sick of a character. She's yeah. just like that. She's so person. good in kick yeah. ass. She's yeah. so really good in awesome. kick ass. She's so good in carry. She's so good in everything. Okay. Okay. Wait. So you've talked to, I, you're, I imagine you've talked to a lot of the press, which we are. We we're are, the press, by the way, we're yeah, press. We, we're the press. We, we, did we have this badges. through your team. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sure you've talked a lot about the filming and the process, but I imagine you haven't gotten to talk to anyone about the premiere. Oh, no, I haven't. So I want to know what that was like. This is your first movie premiere. What is it? Like, that's something that, like, we all, even if you don't have genuine aspirations of going into media and to Hollywood, yeah. we've all dreamed of walking down a red carpet <laughs> and it's Mr. Eugene, Eugene, over here, Mr. Liang, Mr. Liang, and the, the shutters and you do the, like, is it fun? Is it work? I can't, like, are you even able to be present in that moment and enjoy the movie or are you just like, you're performing still? I don't, what is it? What is it like? What I preferred about the film premiere, as opposed to other carpets I've walked in, you've, you've had similar experiences where you're walking a carpet for an event. Yeah. And maybe people are interviewing you. Yeah, I've done it. No, yeah, you have, but like- Like I walked the carpet at the Justin Bieber movie premiere and yeah. they didn't take photos of me and I just kind of <laughs> stood there awkwardly <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. And then I went in and took my seat. Well- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did they ask you to walk the red carpet? They did. 
They did. Got it. But and then you they, went out and did anyone take photos? And they didn't hold the sign that told people who they were. <laughs> so they, so like, they were like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> and and then, it's movie. Zach Kornfeld of the famous Tribe Prague. Tribe Prague. Prague. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done I've done other carpets. It's weird. It's yeah. like you're taking <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I have done, done other it. carpets. Well, no, the- usually they have sorry, they have like a real carpet and then they have the influencer carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the little baby one where you can like take your little photos. Yeah. You take your little photos, but like the real star is going to be over there. That's so um. good. Yeah, the carpets are strange because it's actually very stressful mm. and it's often hot. And when I've done things like when I've gone to say like the gold gala, which is this like Asian American event, which mm-hmm. is very fashion oriented, <clears throat> but that just has tons of press there. Um, I've been in, you know, hair and makeup and styling for over five hours at that point, walking in tennis yeah. shoes Whoa. I'm in physical pain. You stand and take photos for about, you know, five minutes with people screaming at you. Oh my God. And then you go through press for about 30 minutes talking pretty much the same talking points to 20 different people uh-huh. yeah, and it's loud and they have a tiny little mic and they ask you the same thing about what's it like for XYZ Asian American representation go. And so you kind of like and go you're into supposed this. to just have your bottled answer. Cause yeah. they need it yeah. in a soundbite. They do. That's why uh, my worst experience of that was the Met Gala. Yeah. It was already, as people know what happened with me at the Met Gala, mm-hmm. uh, extremely stressful situation yeah. Yeah. and then after i turned on the like all right default mode just look good in the photo so you see the photos and videos me and everyone goes wow okay work eugene and then i have to go <laughs> on the carpet and they grab me for these little interviews yeah and now you're gonna giggle zach the worst was the actual metropolitan museum of art asks me who's your fashion inspiration and they probably just asked fucking like you know, a Zendaya about it. And they would have this really intelligent answer about something with fashion history. And I literally blanked and said, oh my God. Lola Bunny from Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> that rocks though. Lola Bunny is yes. that bitch actually. <laughs> I don't know how my brain got there. I think it was this. And I will tell you, I was thinking, I love what La Roach is doing with Zendaya because I was sad she wasn't there at that Met Gala. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to mention like the style moments that they had. Then I couldn't remember <laughs> anything besides <laughs> Zendaya is, the new Zendaya is Michi. Zendaya is Michi. And I said, I can't say, or is, was Zendaya Michi or? Zendaya is, yeah, Zendaya is Michi. Zendaya is Michi yeah. from that film that I can't remember. Little the Foot. Just remember the song. Except for the song that made fun of the casting and Little the characters. Foot. Little, Little Foot. Little Foot, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, but it was uh, The Croods. I uh, know it was Little Foot. It's not right. The Croods. That stars Nick Cage. So you watch yourself. I started oh, thinking, <laughs> singing Zendaya's Michi in my head. I had like two seconds to answer. And then I just said, I can't say Michi because that would make no sense. <laughs> I can't say So Michi. I just go, uh, Lola Bunny from Space Jam because she just voiced Lola Bunny. And the look in this person's face <laughs> as they slowly <laughs> draw the tiny mic back oh to themselves God. where they just cut off the rest of the interview and they say, thank you and, and walk away. Oh. I'd never felt more embarrassed in my life. <laughs> It's like top three most embarrassing moments. That hurts. <laughs> Lola it Bunny. hurts so much. So, okay, that's a, 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 a typical, like, I'd say shitty carpet experience. Yeah, right. But this carpet, yeah. what's great is um, I, I'm one of the leads of the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about because there's so much more to talk about yeah. with character and with the project. So I kind of want to talk about it. Yeah. And yeah. the sort of ushering across the carpet, people like take care, more care of you. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's like being um, like, the sweet 16 girl, which I never experienced. Yeah. It's your bat mitzvah. Oh, uh-huh. It's your bat mitzvah. mitzvah. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that in Asian culture. Right. Asian culture is just like your party's at one year old and when you're 60. <laughs> Everything else in between, no party. <laughs> the stuff you won't remember. Are you having a little treat while you're there? Is there sort of oh, a little treat? Question. Are you too nervous oh, yeah, to have a little treat? Knows. No, and, I mean, they had a cute, like there's a lot of activations for these things. Nimona's a family film. Yeah. So it had a daytime premiere. There mm-hmm. were a lot of children there and families. So they had the cute things like cotton candy, a big right. rhinoceros, yeah, uh, mm, and, all of these. And do you perhaps have any treats, maybe a little vegan treat here that yeah, you sorry. could- One Great thing question, about, yeah. so there's some plog lore I feel like we should <laughs> fill you in oh, on. Oh, it's plog? Plog. I thought it was prog. Okay, yeah. we gotta tell you. We- <laughs> We just made the whole Prague joke about the about Prague. Yeah, we were all right. confused. We were, like, we were we didn't know if it was a bit or not. So, oh, you really thought it was Prague? Well, I just because <laughs> I, well, I want to say it's trod. I know you want to say trod. Yeah. So essentially, wherever where we go, Zach asks for a little vegan treat. Yeah. So like, do you have a? We're hungry. We danced. We did do dance, by the way. I did a lot of dance. I, you'd be so proud of me. I, I am proud. <laughs> of you. 
I think also <laughs> you two next to each other. I would pay tickets to see that. I thought I was a little rusty because as you may, may know or remember, um, my name is Miles. And <laughs> as you may remember, I did Modern Dance in high school. And it's been a decade since Yes, yeah, so you bring that up quite often. Well, I bring okay, it enough up. Enough bragging, buddy. Sort of, you got to treat for us or not. <laughs> I have. I was rusty. I don't have much in the fridge. I Mm. had to get late night food and it's literally just slabs of meat. So it's the opposite of of meat. Slabs of meat. I need a Korean, so. Nice. Yeah. Where is Matt? Matt's in uh, Palm Springs right now. Nice. Yeah. Miss him. Wish he was here. Was that was Rainey's burning question on the way. That was Rainey's worst Rainey Matt. Rainey's I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this combo. Someone that Rainey sees every week almost. <laughs> um, well, Eugene, I'm looking around your room and there's so many, there's so much vegetation, first of all. Yeah, lots of greenery. Yeah, yeah. that's not me. That's Matt. It's all Matt. It's all Matt. It's pretty impressive. It's hard to grow a plant like that. Hard to keep it alive. Yeah, look at that say. big plant. Yeah. yeah. Is it a fiddly fig? I have no idea. Middle Leaf figs are expert level. Yeah, that's pro move. That's, that's pro move. Fig. Yeah, that's Matt has a green thumb, and I have the opposite of a green thumb. I have a <laughs> brown, brown thumb. pinky. Brown, <laughs> brown pinky. Show hole. <laughs> Show hole. Brown Show. thumb. Yeah. Um, when, when you do the posing on the carpet, mm-hmm. I know that like you know how to work it, but is there someone whose job it is to be like, oh, okay, yeah. Mr. Liang, you're going to be going here, and here is how you strike a pose. No. Yeah. Okay, they just that's it's up sad. to us. We're gonna up pop to that. We're gonna pop that bussy in five, and then they sort of count down. Because <laughs> if you no took a miles. bad photo, that that reflects poorly on the movie. Oh no, there are bad photos for sure because they're snapping so fast. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. I haven't looked at Getty Images. <gasps> you on yeah, Getty? Check out the Getty Images. Oh, well, of course he's on Getty. Oh, of course. Eugene's been on Getty since day one, probably. Getty Images. Here we go. Let's see. But so we're gonna I go. think there are people who actually it's their job to help train people how to pose. Oh, that's, like interesting. that's an actual I need that. occupation. That like good yeah, because if I'm like, I don't know, Florence Poo, I'm probably knowing <laughs> <laughs> Florence Wait, Poo. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Florence <laughs> Poo. I'm probably I say pew, like a church pew. Yeah, I like that too. Is that it? I've I, heard it both I, ways. I think, I think it's probably both There's ways. There's the man. So you were wearing <laughs> all white. Look oh, at him. All yes. white everything. Holding a little purse too. Let me see the shoes. I'm loving Let me that. See the shoes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so so what how do you connect to like to your you said that you that the the story was really like pertinent to you. Yeah, let's talk about the movie. Yeah. Yeah. And the character and, and more I'm so gonna go about Eugene, you and your Eugene's childhood. Bathroom. And your, I'll be right back. You're going to the bathroom? Yeah. Are you going number one or number Lawrence. No, I remember poo. <laughs> I'm going to go number one. I just have to pee. I drank a lot of water while dancing. I was whispering so that it wouldn't disrupt us. Whoa, well, look who disrupted. <laughs> I was like, I, if I whisper, it, it sneaks it in. So you guys. It's okay. We don't even need you. We're going to be hanging out here. Thing. Core three. You don't, you don't have to this bring the, the mic. New big yeah. three. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> new All big right, three. Core three. We kicked him out. Yeah. Him out. So, Rainy. How, like, you talk about how this story was important to you and the character was important to you. I want to know, like, about your childhood and, like, what you were remembering from your past and, like, bringing it in. To the performance or yeah, to the... Yeah, to the character. The like, character. what did you guys share in common? And then, like, yeah. what... And then I have another question after that. Well, one, I think... <laughs> I think what's most exciting about Nimona is that there's going to be, I, I, I cite it as a film that I mm-hmm. wish I was able to see as a child, yeah. especially as a queer person. Yeah. Um, I think that it's one of those rare moments where you see, and p- some people are kind of saying it's like a breakthrough animated film. Mm-hmm. I think animation has always had like wonderful um, and has often like been the forebear of queer representation that's mm-hmm. very effortless and seamless. You see it in lots of different shows and mm-hmm. films. Mm-hmm. Um, ever since you saw things that were quote unquote queer quoted, like yeah. Disney villains, we often have that discussion. Right. But if you think about it, it was always a queer animator who mm-hmm. was in charge of designing someone like Scar or yeah. Ursula, oh. who then codes them a certain way where queer audiences pick up on it. So it's mm-hmm. always been like a conversation that's happened mm-hmm. amongst LGBTQ plus people. Yeah. Um, but huh. now we're in a, a stage where Sometimes it's great not to even have the coding. Sometimes it's great yeah. just to be there. Mm-hmm. This isn't a fantasy medieval universe. Yeah. That's also got like a bit of cyberpunk. But the um, aspects about these characters that are queer are both like very innate to their character and they're mm-hmm. set up up top and they're not the the central conflict of their character. Right. So yeah. that's what's really awesome about Nimona. Yeah. And I mean, you can also just bring it back to it's a, it's a trans creator of these characters. Mm-hmm. And you have someone like me who's gay voicing a gay mm-hmm. um, protagonist. Yeah. And so, or antagonist the way you see the film once you watch it because <gasps> i'm technically i'm technically said h- hero of the realm yeah but am i actually a hero that's a question that comes uh, that's up that's the question yeah so um, is that how you feel 
Oh, I definitely feel that way. That's what in life. Yeah. Oh, I also feel that way in life too. You feel like you're maybe the hero, but maybe the villain. But I think that's a good thing to constantly question is who determines what's a hero and what's a villain. And that's what Nimona explores huh. mm. because it's all about, um, breaking down this idea of, of larger institutions right. and rebelling against it because, uh, what they say is, is wrong might not be what's wrong. Okay, so when you're talking about like queer animators designing, <laughs> oh my gosh, you mousy. Oh, you found the dates. Someone's a little mouse having um, a date. Matt always has dates here. Yeah, he, he does have dates. I forgot there were some, there were some nice. I, when I asked vegan options. Knew. That's on brand. Yum, yum, yeah, yum. sometimes you gotta just sort, sort of forage in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. He said he has enough thing, but there were also dried apricots. <laughs> There's a lot of dried fruit. We're just gonna hear him just yeah, just sort of tuning the mouth over sounds there, chewing sort of away. I mean, if Keith's not here, then Zach's got to provide the mouth sounds. Apparently, yeah, he's got to give those mouth sounds good. He's not part of the core four, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so the so queer animators are animating. I I know that like villains are often queer coded, but I actually didn't know that they're often queer animators. Like why? Oh yeah, that was a huge history at places like Disney. Huh. Why and why why would they? queer code a villain instead of the hero is just more fun because I, I think historically things like villains especially mm -hmm. those archetypes have a lot more camp aspects they oh, have yeah. a lot more tongue-in-cheek they have yeah. a lot more when it comes to speaking to uh skirting the idea of what's morally right uh -huh. and i think just in society that's where queer oh. people have always been placed mm -hmm. oh, so really understanding how to be a entertaining fabulous or a person who can yeah. be a motive in themselves, mm -hmm. but be seen as bad. I think that's like a very deep thing for queer people. Huh. There's also, I'm going to butcher this, but there's a famous Juno Diaz quote that I'm super paraphrasing, but basically if people aren't represented within media, they'll turn themselves into monsters because they have nothing to see them as. So a lot of queer people having lacked representation for so long, grasp on to the more camp and garish and, and larger than life characteristic mm. seen in villains. And then that kind of self fed it. You know? yeah. yeah. And so that's a lot of actually what's at the heart of Nimona mm -hmm. because Nimona, the titular character yeah. is technically in the world of the film, the villain, but she's also the main character, mm. right? Even so though she's presenting her herself side. as a sidekick in the story. So oh, it actually is, it's huh. turning a lot of these things on its head. Yeah. But yeah, what I felt that I brought to the role, which was really awesome, was they kind of stumbled into making this character Asian. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's quite resonant as an Asian mm -hmm. American or an Asian person in today's society because Ambrosius is essentially um, put on a pedestal mm. as the vision of how to be the right type of knight. Oh, uh -huh. so interesting. He's, he's elevated as he is the hero of the realm and his descendancy from this, mm. like this beacon of, of light, this figure in the past of this, the of this community. He's like the model. Mm. So he's like the model knight. Uh -huh. And so he has to decide between basically his duty, his honor, mm -hmm. and then also what he actually feels in his heart. So I think that's quite oh, resonant for trapped in a model. Yeah. You're yeah. basically saying like, do I obey what mom tells me mm -hmm. or do I do what I know mm -hmm. I want to do? And that's, I think a struggle a lot of people can relate to, but yeah. particularly for like the conversation around Asian people right now, yeah. it was something that they, I think didn't know were tapping into when they even redesigned and then cast me. But it was yeah. something I brought a lot of to the role yeah. as well as just, you know, when people watch it, I hope fans of the graphic novel, there might be a lot listening. Um, the film version of Ambrosius is just a lot softer. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a kind of will they, won't they in the graphic novel that's very classic that I love. I still love the graphic novel version. It's mm -hmm. like, will they, won't they, are they, aren't they? <gasps> I love a will they, won't they. Yeah, <laughs> so important to very me. much. Jim and Pan. <laughs> yeah, hey. absolutely. And especially with gay characters, you're like, oh, yeah. I ship, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But in this character, in, in this film, it's established really early on that, um, uh, we did, we had, like right. we're together. Right. Even right. in the trailer I, oh. I saw, yeah. they were like, they oh, established it's it more it intentional. Yeah. Yeah. So what I like to do, I've always said this, is that I approached it, and I think Riz did as well, it's less um, I'm having conflict yeah. with my crush. Right. Even though like, I don't think they've been like together together necessarily, but yeah. they are, they've been like besties since childhood. Yeah. yeah. And they love each other. Yeah. It's more like if you have um, a, uh, a critical issue with, your partner. Right. And that's a really interesting space yeah. to showcase a struggle. Yeah. When it's more intense. And it's more intense Much because more intense. you're like, I trusted you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Why mm. are you behaving like this? Why are yeah. you disagreeing with me? So most of what you'll watch now, what I like to say is like, it's like 
yeah. kind of just like fighting with Matt. It's, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a really smart uh, choice and change for the movie, if only for you as performers, right? Because if I'm mad at my crush, well, now I, okay, I'm, I don't have a crush on them anymore, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It's, I'm what I'm attracted to them physically, but they suck, whatever. I, mm-hmm. I'm going head to head. But this is someone that you love. This yeah. is someone you have a deep history and connection with. Yeah. So that pain now is all the more intense and real and, and, and hurtful. Yeah. yeah. And that's me. I'm, I'm laying on very thick with the Ambrosius character. Like really the, the film centers a lot on Nimona and Nimona is yeah. the best. And I think uh, what I like to say, I don't know if Netflix will let me say this. <gasps> uh, well, <laughs> There's a sound bite. <laughs> is that, that we TikTok. never TikTok. Told, TikTok. It's oh, basically good. like the whole through line is this idea about anti-policing. It's all about this idea of like questioning and then d- deconstructing and then fighting against uh, structural injustice. That's really interesting like to have institutional do that. That's great injustice, and that's why when I think about all the far right parents who might be mad just because they heard there's a gay kiss, You're right. Uh, oh. which was a scandal. Oh, there's like a character that's basically trans. Rah. I'm like, well, <laughs> wait, till, more to be upset wait till you watch, <laughs> yeah. wait till you watch We've the movie. We've got other stuff that we actually are passionate Cause about. Cause I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Your kids probably are already super fine with the fact that there's boyfriends on screen. They don't, yeah, care. They don't care. Yeah, but they don't what care. something they should learn is maybe uh, the person, I don't know, with the badge or the person with the gavel or the person with the uh, nice pretty title in the White House, uh, maybe we should be questioning everything that they say because yeah. maybe they're lying to us. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of, and I've talked to Andy about this a lot. Yeah. That's, that's like the real, like, if the heart of Nimona is mm-hmm. queer storytelling and perspective, it's like fist is, mm-hmm. is the aspect Show of hole. like, sh- Show hole. <laughs> Yeah, it's that. It's so that. Whole. It's and in that hole is actually injustice. It's a lot of injustice. <laughs> All cops are yeah. bastards, even Ambrosius Golden Lloyd. Absolutely. I mean, that's kind of what Ambrosius realizes towards the end. Yeah. Um, oh. And I think, and I think, you know, Riz Ahmed's character Ballister, he's he's the classic like doesn't have the right bloodline, and so the whole premise is he's trying yeah. to like break into this like gilded code, but then he has all of this. Uh, he's an outsider because of where he was. born born from there's all these really interesting um perspectives at play that i think it's going to resonate with a lot of people Mm -hmm. outside of even just being uh, a queer person yeah 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 i'm I'm so stoked to watch it i am so excited to see this yeah i uh i mean i remember still like it was yesterday i think it was it was yeah it was in the pandemic i don't think we were allowed to see each other at that point and you you sent us this cryptic text to me and keith being like hey can I get on, can you get on a Zoom? And we're like, okay, <laughs> sure. That's what a weird, like what fucking bomb is he about to drop on our lives? And <laughs> like, cause that no, doesn't that seem wasn't, good. That, that wasn't, wasn't quite me. the bomb. That yeah. wasn't me. <laughs> and, <laughs> that wasn't me. Wasn't me. And well, there you go. Yeah. I didn't realize how funny what I said was. Yeah. Um, and and he told us and we screamed and we excited. I'm sure I have a recording on my Aww. phone somewhere. Uh, but it was just like, because at the time too, you're like, hey, I'm going to play a gay prince. Yeah, that's <laughs> so like, great. Because you, you said it before, but I think it, it's worth repeating that not only is this just a dream of... You, you're, you're in a fucking movie. You're a star of a movie, right? Yeah. That's cool. You're a star of an animated movie. You love animation more than anyone I know. Yeah. You're the star of an animated fantasy movie. You are a deep fantasy nerd. You're a star of a queer fantasy <laughs> animated. Right. Like, yeah. it, it's nuts. It's such a confluence mm-hmm. of, of passions and hard work paying off. Um, and uh, just we're very excited for you. It's so cool. I should also mention it's really fucking funny. <gasps> yeah. Because I've been talking very serious stuff. It sure. is so funny. Yeah. I think you'll be surprised when you start watching it that it's not in any way like it doesn't feel like it's taking itself seriously. It is almost at points like goofy slapstick. <laughs> yeah, it seems it's a very playful. Even the animation style seems yeah. very playful. You get that tone from the trailer immediately because she is uh, or Nimona as a character is just like a really goofy, rambunctious, chaotic gremlin, chaotic child. trickster. Yeah. No, she wants. No, she's like wants to just murder everyone the entire time. <laughs> she literally just her main line is like, "Can we kill him? Can we kill him? Can we kill them? Can we kill them? We're gonna kill them." And that's fantastic. That's a, a holdover from the comic. It's like definitely yeah. an aspect of her being. But it's it, she's a she's like a weird little chaos violence monster, <laughs> and it's great. It's so funny. So I think that's what's what's awesome is that I think that people who might 
and most might not be aware of all of the mm-hmm. more political aspects of the film that yeah. it, that does actually, I think, take a nice backseat to just being a very enjoyable family movie. Yeah. Like I think people are gonna go into it like parents do and just really start laughing at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of hit them with the feels. And I think yeah. that's why it's a very successful project. They did a really great job of shaping the the film version from what was already like really rich source material. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about it being almost over? Like it's gonna come out and then yeah. You don't have to work on it anymore. I don't know. It's sad. it's a little sad just because yeah. it's been part of my life for sure. years 3 now. Three years now. Years, yeah. yeah. And I think that uh, you know, I'm excited about like the next steps with other voice acting opportunities I yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. Um cuz I just did the Star Wars episode was really awesome. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Playing a Jedi was wild. Yeah. yeah. That was a different Can you give us your best like <clears throat> No, I can't. not your after battle that. Battle is slice. Was that was that? Uh. What? Whoa. Okay. Was you me two. getting hit by a lightsaber? Yeah. No. You yeah. Two, you two sound very <laughs> dark rooms right now. Wait, <laughs> Wait can I hear your uh, lightsaber so this is, duel? This is us getting stiff. So we yeah, go. So it, yeah. Miles. Miles. <laughs> uh, you got me. <laughs> oh. 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 oh you got oh, me. No, no. <laughs> okay. Take this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I I caught it. You show. caught it. That's nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Show hole. Never. <laughs> so that's sort of. What I'm very we're sad up to. I taught you all that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. There's a difference between um sort of like the idea of voice acting in uh, a film like Demona, where you're sort of originating the vocal performance and then they animate to it, mm-hmm. versus something like the Star Wars uh, Visions project I did, where I was dubbing. Right. Uh, so when you dub, you watch the playback of the already animated sequence. Oh, that is interesting. Mm-hmm. And then you try to match your mouth to the the flapping of the right. mouth. So okay, it's I got a question. Really got interesting. Question. Yeah. yeah. This is this is a craft question. Voiceover acting. I feel like every time I see it, okay, microphones are very particular, right? So I'm talking to the mic right now. If I go like this, you know, like right? It's yeah. You it changes the sound based on where yeah. I put it. Mm-hmm. So you have a moment, even just in the trailer, where you're like fighting. It's like, ah! you know, you're doing this whole fucking thing. Yeah. Are you able to move around in the booth and and emote and act and and or do you have to be stationary doing that so that directionally the microphone is picking it up? You generally try to stay as stationary with your feet. That's crazy. Like all I used, I mean, actually, with um, both of the roles I've had so far, there's a lot of fighting. Yeah. I guess mm. I just scream a combatant type character. Yeah. I get it. And a little um, taste of it. <laughs> I, get yeah, it like I get that. it. I get it. I'm a very combatant person. I've seen you box. Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of like the. <gasps> yeah. And I think the. Um, <laughs> the. <laughs> the uh, that's a good question because I'll leave the booth really sweaty it's like a workout but imagine doing a full crossfit workout but with your feet not moving yeah huh. so you yeah. do the sword play and you i do swing my arms around a lot to get into the mood but i'm yeah. not moving my my head or my feet as much as possible yeah. and that's why you just get a lot of core strength from right it. but no yeah you can't really be jumping up and down yeah. because the the mic loses the directionality i imagine that's even harder because you're like trying to move but then you're keeping like the center of you super still to not fuck up the audio. Yeah. It's just, yeah, a lot of body control. I, I, I don't know that I'm cut out for voice acting. I mean, it's fun to try. I mean, that would be a great Try Guys video. We were supposed to forever go with someone very yeah. cool and he actually just hit us up again and was like, hey, we should get that going. Oh. oh. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know Steven who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Steven Spielberg reached out to Zach and he was on like Instagram. hey let's get that going and I was like Steven leave me the fuck alone I said buddy. after the party we had that all that drama Steven you know that I'm busy <laughs> plogging this is my passion and I will not be uh, I'm a plogger now uh, um, Indiana Jones 4 can direct itself for all I care thank you Steven yeah. Eugene, we're nearing the end of our episode, and I'm wondering, oh. sort of, I don't know if we do rapid fire sort of updates on Eugene before we kick it to the final segi. I also have a really quick segment, only because it's topical for me. Here we go, Rainy's yeah. topical segment for her. I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome to Rainy's personal. little table. A treat Rainey's for Rainy. <laughs> so one of my best friends just went through her first breakup. It was very sad. Oh no, I'm sorry. An important so, life milestone. I, yeah, it is a life milestone. Do you have anything called milestones? Holy oh. shit. By the way, I should be selling quartz. Fuck. Milestones. Milestones. This, Milestones. Is why, this is why we, we miss you as part of the core four. <laughs> core four. We need you to. Yeah, because yeah, you should have called it Trod. 
Trod. I, no, I would have overruled Welcome that. Welcome back to the trod. <laughs> back to the trod. 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 It's so harsh. It's so blunt. But you're calling yeah. it Prague. No. No, Prague. <laughs> oh, Prague. By the way, Rainy, your friend just went through a breakup. So I want to know, like, how do you self-care? Urgent, like, emergency self-care. I suggested movie theater and sushi. Okay, sushi. Fish yes. and, a, and a cold room. <laughs> We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep fish as part of that because that's luxury. Yeah, if and I'm talking. Class. We're talking nice. I don't yeah. want no sushi stop. I want her to go to like that good good spot. I'm right. talking three dollar signs on Google and Yelp minimum. That's Zach Kornfeld money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but I did actually tell her I was like, you can spend money now. Yeah. Now is the time. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Emergency I fund. Use your savings to buy a sashimi. But Eugene, I think Eugene, as the guest here, I'm curious what, what you think is the, like, what is our yeah. self-care activity? self cur self cur <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know no. you were capable of that. Oh, wow. I can sometimes do it, but not that day. <laughs> self cur <laughs> Yeah, so how do you self cur <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't self care. I kind of know this about you, by the way. I'm not the right. You said this before. You just feel it. Yeah, I let I let I let it steep. What's the opposite of self care? You just move on. Distract. Distract. I let it steep like tea until it burns my soul, and then I can use it later as a weapon. That's true. It's like when you leave a coffee in the pot in the pot on the Mister Coffee, and it kind of goes burn. Yeah, and it gets a like it down at the bottom, and it boils and boils down, and it's just a little hardness. Yeah. Sticky. I wouldn't advise it. I think it's very unhealthy, actually. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Don't get sticky coffee burns in your soul. Yeah. Um, but that's that's I think how I manage. Yeah. I like to I like being uh, enjoy it a little nice lean into it. Dark and bitter inside. Girl, just yeah. Do the classic spa day and sushi. I don't like spas. <laughs> I hate spas. You don't like a hot steam? I fucking hate steam. Rooms. What about cryotherapy? Really? I hate all all of it. What about uh, anytime? Bath. Everyone loves saunas, and Koreans especially love but saunas. You're a fit I little feel buff like guy. I just feel like I am being involuntarily baked. I love it. But what about a workout? I feel like a, a, a Christmas ham. I feel like a Thanksgiving turkey spatchcock. Christmas Batch ham, cock. Thanksgiving turkey, Easter chicken. Yeah, it's not my vibe. A Fourth of July person. fish. <laughs> Interesting. But you also you get a pump on. I'm looking at those where, biceps where, right where, now. Where? I don't know. I'm just looking oh, at your thighs, thighs and thighs, and I'm seeing uh, the bone. What did you think? What did you think? I don't know. My Pump mind's, my mind's dark still room. in, in dark Prague. room. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, yeah, working out. But for me, working out is regulatory and not Yeah. Uh, you don't get a release. Soothing, no. No. Yeah. No. It's just, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good answer for your friend because I feel bad I don't have a good answer. Well, some, I mean, there is a part of it where it's just like, it just kind of hurts and that's okay. Yeah, no, it's also okay to hurt. It's okay, you know what? Time yeah. Pain. yeah, I'm someone who, uh, if anything, if you have the the moment where you need self care, but mm -hmm. you also just want to sit by yourself, yeah, then learning how to sort of understand and and healthily express and or compartmentalize mm -hmm. ways you feel pain. It's not a bad yeah. practice. Yeah. So I'm actually like when I say about it. that I have yeah. a dark bitter soul, I've been able to like exercise it through my work right. creatively. Right. So I think that's that's not a bad thing yeah. for everyone. But also like do what Zach probably does, which is talk too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well you're spawn sushi and then we what are you? I'm all of it, baby. Steam. Well, I'm all of it. Like I'm a dessert. I'm coffee. I'm getting a snack. Are you still taking baths? <laughs> I have toned down the bath frequency, oh, but no. I did take a I took a bath the other day and then I did I did a two in a row bathy in the evenings. He did a bath, he got out, he dried himself, went right, went back, right back in the dirt. Really? No, oh, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What's up? It's gonna be probably in um and the audience will see I did a rank king video with Chloe. Yeah. Cause no I offer, way. yeah, it's we, coming out Saturday. Yeah, we had a press day, and then I pitched, um, because I, Wednesday. you know, I want to contribute as much as I can to the channel. So I said, if I'm there, can I ask Netflix if I could just take 20 minutes, of the fastest Try Guys video shoot ever, to oh, to do ranking? <gasps> and then they said, okay, sure. So then, whoa, I'm we're, we're ranking pink stuff, just pink things. Oh my god, random That's pink so items, awesome. But one of them, and they'll see, had Chloe go off on a rant about how much she loved. Bads. Let's go. Let's go. One Chloe. of us. One, One of, of us. us. So basically, <laughs> Chloe Grace Moritz is my friend. <laughs> yeah. Now. And I told her, Chloe, that's fucking stupid. Showers rule. Boo. You're basically, you're basically human soup. I and am she, soup. 
She liked that. I'm a wanton. I want a human it. soup. Um, we gotta get to the final segi. Zach, why don't you tee it up for me, darling? Oh, it's um milestones. It honestly feels milestones. like we haven't done it in a long time. Milestones. We do it every week. Yeah, we, and people freak for have it. Have we been doing it? Because yeah, I don't seem we do to it every a, week. Advice that'll go for miles. Miles, am I allowed to throw it to you? Yeah. Or is it sort Randy of a big boy kind of thing? Throw it to me so I can throw it back. Oh, and let I feel me like throw we it haven't back. done this in a while. Zach, we literally do this every <laughs> single week. And the fact that you aren't listening to how good it is and how good I throw it and get back. I'm glad that I killed him now. (laughs) Agreed. Hit it, Rainy. All right. If you're looking for a little voice actor, we've got one to my right and one to my left. Because Miles Bonsignor is a podcast producer, which is an audio medium as well. And go ahead. (laughs) Go ahead with advice that will go for Miles. It's advice that'll go for miles. Tune it to your radio station. It's advice that'll go for miles. Everyone get ready, Miles Nation. Miles Nation, go. It's advice that'll go for miles. Advice that'll go for miles. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to plunge? Oh, I suspect. Have you ever wanted to be at the top of your intelligence? Lightning style. <laughs> Lightning McQueen. Kew, kew, kew. Ka-chow. I've been changing up my routine, and it's making me feel like a teen because of how much energy I've got. Mm-hmm. So basically, there's one way to live your life, and it's lazy. But the other way <laughs> is actually good and fine for me. Your bones are getting older, Zach. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why did you look? Why did you direct that to him? I Miles? felt. I that felt was, it. That was so targeted. And everybody gets <laughs> hotter with age, Eugene. And when you are doing something that I've been doing recently. <laughs> The Abominable Snowman. <laughs> no, I've been stop. ending my shower with a cold part. And oh. so let's let's just go ahead and talk about our conversation yesterday. <laughs> what was it? I said I did a cold plunge and I loved it. Yeah. And then you said I've been ending it with a cold shower. Yeah. And I just sort of feel like... You did it's more work. Like Get his yeah. ass, Rainy. Sorry. Get you, him. Sorry, sorry. You feel like you've been doing it's more. It's like that sort of derivative of mine. Oh, I've been oh. doing this for weeks. Miles, if you could go ahead and. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. If you could go ahead and yield Rainey's the mic. Right. I have yield, been doing the, the end of the <laughs> Rainy takes one plunge. Rainy floor. takes one cold Rainey, plunge. Rip his microphone out of the no. out of the recorder. How, okay, how many cold plunges you do? One. Right Sorry. One. But I mean, I've literally done this probably a dozen and a half times. <laughs> sixteen, Zach. She pl- That's sixteen, Zach. She plunged. You yeah. did, you where trickled. are you, by the way? Oh, here's a question for you. Where are you plunging? <laughs> she plunged. Where yeah. is she plunging? Wait. She plunged. In your own tub? No, I went to this really weird like water world for adults That's type awesome. situation. But Miles, no, it was, yeah. I thought you didn't believe in showers. No, but I've been recently because of the time commitment. But Rainy. I'm actually honestly at this point I'm thinking that's cool. Yeah, and I think that you should. That's what I'm saying. You should do that. I'd like to, but I don't have the always. To me, a, a cold ending the cold shower is sort of like it's what easy. if I did a cold plunge standing up and only for sixty seconds, and so it's not giving yeah. you all the benefits because Kelsey Darrett does a cold plunge all the time. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, which is cool, and do she's into all her. sorts of wild I feel stuff. Like she, I want to talk to her about. Yeah, her but she's gonna be like, you should. Yeah, she's got crazy. I, I think she owns one or does it somewhere. Oh. Oh, interesting. So I mean, it's only $15, though, because I did look it up after my one time, and I was like... $15 to get in a bath of ice water? Okay, well, otherwise you have to run the bath of ice water. I guess that's true. Just to be clear, she already gave this advice? No. no Rainey's saying that it. yesterday we talked about her doing a cold plunge, and she was accusing me of thiefing. Mm. But I've yeah. actually been doing the cold shower for a while, and Rainey, I would say, is doing... This is honestly raindrop of the week. Drop top. Drop top. <laughs> Rainy has done sort of one better by Kinda doing a cold sounds plunge. like she's mm. your muse. Well, in a lot of ways, Rainy, Rainy inspires me with this sort of bravado to which yeah. that she gobbles yeah. life up. 
I am, I'm into that. I, yeah. I find a cold cold plunge very hard because if you dip your foot in first, your brain goes, oh, it's so cold. Yeah. So then I want to plunge my whole body at once, which means I kind of like yeah. spider crawl over it yeah. and I drop down and I inevitably hurt myself, thereby <laughs> undoing the purpose of the cold plunge. So here's the yeah. tip for what I'm saying. Because a cold plunge, I don't have the capacity to do. No, 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 no. Every day. No, no, no. But I have a little clock shower timer that I hit and it does 60 seconds on the go. And I get you in there. A timer in the shower? Yeah, queen. <laughs> and I'm getting in there and it's, and it's like, I go faucet to cold. Off. All what the hot water is off. Make? And I go, uh -huh. ah! And then I hit the 60 seconds yeah. and 60 seconds. I'm like, I could do cold for 60 seconds. No problem. We've got to end the episode. Eugene, you've been a fantastic host. Thanks for letting us do the show at your house. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did it because Rainy asked me, right? Well, or did Rainy you ask me? Sorry. I asked you. Oh, you did. Oh, do you have Wait, miles in your phone? Do you not have my contact <laughs> saved? <laughs> Eugene. I swear to fucking God. Um, if you don't have my contact saved, do you not have... Pull your phone right now. I know it's you. I have your contact saved, of course. You don't have my contact saved. Yes, I saved. do, Miles. I, I text But he does have Rainy on speed dial. He does have Rainy... <laughs> Rainy <he's>, yeah, <laughs> number one on speed dial I above 911. I was talking to someone else about something. I think oh, was, you were actually. Rainy was also planning a thing. The Miles Bonsignore. Okay, that's what I like to hear. And just read out his number so we know it's the right one. Phone. You don't have my last name in your phone? No, what I is it? Miles it Try Guys? Is it Miles Try Guys? Oh, it's just Miles. <laughs> There's only one. Um, well, yeah, guys. <laughs> Eugene is with the official Drop Out theme song. Her name oh, yeah, is Chloe Grace Moretz. It's not Chloe Mo Goret Goret. And it's not Chloe Gra Gra Gra. It's Chloe Grace Moretz. Have a good ass week. Full name.